In the winter of 1867, Claude Monet painted Snow Near Honfleur. He made this work, at least in part, out in the snow. A local reporter described encountering Monet painting in the winter weather. According to this reporter, the temperature was, quote, cold enough to split stones. However, Monet was committed to his method of painting nature directly in the outdoors. So, he put on three coats and set up his easel in the snow. The result was one of the most impressive paintings of winter weather in the history of art. However, there's more to snow near Honfleur than the story of artistic endurance. The picturesque appeal of this landscape and the beauty with which Monet depicts his subject may conceal this work's conceptual audacity. This is one of several paintings from the 1860s in which Monet critically examined the process of translating the ephemeralness of landscape into the structure of landscape painting. Since its development in the Italian Renaissance, European artists have employed perspective as a means of depicting the illusion of three-dimensional space in a two-dimensional image. Monet's placement of a road in the center of his composition evidences a deliberate self-consciousness about how perspective operates. Road by Saint-Simon Farm also develops this exchange between nature and painting. In nature, the road cuts through the landscape. In art, the lines depicting the road cut through the painting. This critical examination of the process by which landscape was translated into landscape painting is characteristic of many of Monet's paintings from this period of his art. The farm of Saint-Simon, which we see at the right in Snow Near Honfleur, was a popular gathering place for artists and writers. Monet worked there in the summer of 1864 and again in the winter of 1867. Saint-Simon Farm was an important meeting place for artists committed to the realist, naturalist, and later impressionist methods of landscape painting. These included Camille Corot, Johann Bartholdt Jungkind, Gustave Courbet, Eugène Boudin, Camille Pizarro, Alfred Sisley, and Frederick Bazille. However, Jungkind was the artist who is perhaps most often associated with painting in Honfleur. Jungkind was a Dutch-born painter who made numerous painting trips to the Normandy coast, especially the harbor of Honfleur. Monet, who had been raised in Normandy, met Jungkind in the autumn of 1862, and Jungkind became Monet's mentor. Jungkind's role in Monet's artistic education is sometimes overlooked in favor of an emphasis on Eugène Boudin. It was Boudin who first encouraged Monet to become a painter, and furthermore, Boudin introduced Monet to the practice of painting in the outdoors, or en plein air. Monet described Boudin's mentoring saying, my eyes were finally opened and I really understood nature. I learned at the same time to love it. However, according to Monet, the education as a plein air painter that he began with Boudin was completed by Jonkind. Of Jonkind, Monet said, it is to him I owe the real education of my eye. Interestingly, Monet's description of what he learned from both Boudin and Jonkind emphasized a process of learning to see. Monet was naturally gifted in the techniques of applying paint to canvas. What was necessary for Monet in becoming an artist was learning to see. Monet's paintings can also be lessons for the viewer in strategies of seeing. Although Boudin was committed to painting in the outdoors, Jonkind was more advanced in translating the structure that he found in nature into the composition of his painting. Therefore, 
In Monet's project of negotiating between landscape and art, Yonkind was an important model. As Monet's own painting of landscape further matured, he became more brazen in pursuing strategies that allowed him to deconstruct both compositional structure and pictorial clarity. This shifted the emphasis of his work from the picture, which is the illusion of a subject depicted, to the painting, which is the actual means by which the subject is depicted. Monet's desire to critically examine how landscape was translated into landscape painting may have motivated his choice to paint in the snow. As every driver knows, inclement weather and snow are the natural enemies of visibility. However, Monet found in this snow effect a potential solution for his objective of diminishing pictorial depth within the picture, but without departing from the actual depiction of nature. In Snow Near Honfleur, the blanket of white snow is a pictorial equalizer. Snow that is in the distance looks very much the same as snow that is near. We can see how snow visually disrupts our sense of pictorial space by comparing Snow Near Honfleur with another painting that Monet made from almost the exact same place several years earlier. In Road by Saint-Simon Farm, there is a correspondence between the process by which the viewer reads the painting from left to right and the illusion of pictorial depth from the foreground to the background. In Snow Near Honfleur, the blanket of white snow has erased the visual markers by which we might measure this pictorial space. Rather than slowly receding from the foreground towards the background, Snow Near Honfleur takes a pictorial leap of space. This painting is especially daring in that Monet has not included any figures walking on the road. As we can see in the road to the farm of Saint-Simon in winter, painted in the same year and perhaps even the same day as Snow Near Honfleur, these figures provide both a sense of pictorial scale and a narrative focus. The absence of human activity in Snow Near Honfleur makes the visual leap from the foreground to the background seem even more immediate. However, as people walk and drive on the snow, they leave tracks. These tracks in the snow reintroduce the lines of perspective that make pictorial depth once again more clearly legible. Therefore, to a sensitive observer of nature and an artist consciously wrestling with the compositional structures that define landscape painting. Snow was a pictorially and conceptually interesting subject. As a plein air painter, developing a method of naturalism that would later evolve into Impressionism, Claude Monet was confronted with a problem of how to translate the observation of nature into art. His works from the first decade of his art such as Snow Near Honfleur, commence a project that would preoccupy him for the rest of his life. A central theme of Monet's art was the capacity of painting to approximate the experience of seeing. The motifs that he selected and his painterly treatment of these motifs advanced that purpose. As Monet depicted landscape at certain moments, from certain points of view, and with a particular application of paint, nature and art were unified. 